So in this video, we're gonna talk about adding alkyl halides to carboxylic acids, okay? We're gonna talk about the mechanism. So it so happens that if I take this compound here, let's use this carboxylic acid. And here's the steps. Uh, in the first step, I add PBr3. Second step, I add bromine. In this case, I'm just gonna use bromine as the, the, the halogen. And in the third step, we add water. Here's what I'll get. I'll get the halogen right there. I'm gonna have my it's a uh, carboxylic acid. Okay, so that's the that's the general form. Okay, now now how do we get there? How do we get there? Well, let's go through this mechanism. So we have the carboxylic acid and it's gonna attack PBr3 in the first step. PBr3 looks something like this. So the oxygen will come in, attack the phosphorus atom and displace the bromine. Displace one of the bromine, okay? So now we come to a structure that looks something like this. Here's our ketone. There's oxygen that has a hydrogen, but now this is bonded to a phosphorus atom that has two bromines. Okay. The oxygen, we know three bonds plus one formal charge. Okay. Now these electrons are going to come in and neutralize the oxygen. So I'm going to break that bond between the, uh, the oxygen and, and, the, and, uh, and the hydrogen. And the oxygen and hydrogen and give those electrons in, in the form of lone pairs. Okay, so driving this reaction forward. We'll come to a neutral product that looks something like this. There's your oxygen that knows bonded to a phosphorus, two bromine atoms. Okay. Now, what do you guys think will happen in the next step? Br minus will actually come in. Remember, we formed Br minus here. And we kicked it off. So it will actually come in and attack the carbonyl. Okay. Now, once it attacks the carbonyl, once it attacks the carbonyl, it will displace uh, this compound here. So it will displace this compound here. And so the major product will now look something like this. Yeah, we have a carbonyl that's now bonded to a bromine. Yeah. Now, let's draw the, 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 the resonance form of this structure. Okay. And I'm going to put this in brackets. Okay, let's draw the resonance structure of this structure. So the other one looks similar to this. There's my benzene ring. Okay. There's my group. I'm going to have an alkene. Okay. I'm going to have an alcohol. And I still have my bromine here. Okay. So these structures are equivalent. Okay. Now what's going to end up happening? In this step now, we're going to have Br2 that comes in as a halogen, okay? And this bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen will actually come in, form a double bond, and this alkene will now be nucleophilic. So it will attack the bromine and expel one of the bromine atoms, okay? Now what happens from there? We'll actually create this molecule, so... There's your benzene ring. There's your bromine that will be added on right there on the benzylic carbon. There's your ketone and there's your other uh, bromine. Okay. Now what will happen next? Well, now water will come in and act as a nucleophile. So water will come in and act as a nucleophile, attack the carbonyl carbon and displace the bromine as a leading group. And so we come to a structure that looks something like this. There's our bromine. There's our carbonyl. Now this is bonded to an oxygen that has two hydrogens. So oxygen three bonds plus one formal charge. Yeah. Now in the last step, um, this bond will break to neutralize the molecule. So once this bond a bond breaks to neutralize the molecule. Now you can see we formed the carboxylic acid, which is exactly what we predicted. Okay. 
So again, these 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 uh these molecules are they, these uh um, um reactions are pretty simple. We take a carboxylic acid and we add PBr3, Br2, or even Cl2. You know, doesn't matter. And water, you're gonna get the addition of the alkali light on the, the benzylic carbon.